So first of all, the number one problem that I see and the biggest tip I can give you is make sure you have good drainage. These plants need a really fast draining soil. They do not like to be wet. They don't like to sit in water. So make sure you have good drainage. One of the things I recommend doing is using our houseplant smart gravel on the bottom layer of your pot. And these are these big clay balls that absorb excess water and also release water as your plant dries out. And so that's a good thing to kind of stabilize your drainage and just make sure that you're using a very fast draining soil we make a fiddle leaf fig soil that is very fast draining and is a light airy soil that fiddle leaf figs are just going to love and they're going to really not be as prone to root rot which is one of the biggest problems that we see with poorly draining soil. The next tip is avoid overwatering, and so this is the biggest killer of fiddle leaf figs is people get them they put them in a soil that doesn't drain well and they water them too much and the plant just sits in water. These plants are very prone to root rot especially if they're not getting enough light and so you don't want to water them too often. I recommend watering once the soil is pretty dry and just kind of holding off and airing on the side of letting them dry out too much. And so uh, you could use a moisture meter for this. This is really helpful so you could stick your soil meter in and see how wet the soil is. Fiddle leaf figs like a number four or lower and so they like to stay pretty dry. All right, my third tip is sunlight, sunlight, and more sunlight. These plants love sunlight. They grow in greenhouses that are about 50% full sunlight. And then when we bring them into our homes, they really suffer and they take some time to adjust. So you can see behind me, I keep a lot of my fiddles outside because they love the sun. They can be in full sun. They do need to get acclimated to full sun. But when you bring them into your house, put them in the sunniest spot possible. And that is the best thing to do to provide them enough light so that they don't go into shock. They don't have root rot. They don't you know, have some of these problems that are caused by lack of sunlight. In their native habit, habitat of Africa, they are in full sun. They get tons of light. You know. 14 to 16 hours of light every single day and so the more light the better for these plants you know of course they can get sunburned so if you're going to put them into full sun you want to do it slowly and acclimate them but the more light the better all right the fourth tip is to check your plants ph levels a lot of times i get emails from people about something that's going wrong with their plant the plant looks yellow it looks unhappy it's not growing and sometimes this is a result of too much acid in the soil if your plant is looking unhappy and you're not sure why check the pH level, use a soil probe or there's different um, options for this. Our soil meter actually checks the light levels, the pH and the moisture of your soil. And so that's a great option for you to uh, basically troubleshoot these three different areas with one tool. And so they really want to be about a neutral pH level. So uh, you don't want them to get too acidic. And so that's one thing to troubleshoot if you're seeing problems and you're not sure what's going on. All right, my fifth tip is to rotate your tree. A lot of times we see these fiddle leaf eggs in people's homes leaning towards the sunlight. And one way to fix your growth and make sure that your plant looks great 360 degrees is to turn it one quarter turn each week or each month. Just make sure you do it on a regular basis and that will make them grow in a straight manner and also have like a good 360 profile. And so uh, you don't want them to lean because they can start, you know, falling over. You want them to just be really, you know, symmetrical and well balanced. Another trick is to wiggle your tree. And so if you find that your tree needs a stake to keep it upright or that it's kind of limp, you can wiggle it or put it in the wind outdoors. Uh, make sure you don't leave it in the sun because they can sunburn, but just having a little bit of resistance causes them to strengthen their trunk and we have a whole video on exactly how to do this if you're interested you can check it out at the links below um, but that's just two little bonus tips is to rotate and wiggle your tree once a week or once a month just on a regular basis all right my next tip is to adjust your routine during the different seasons. So particularly when we go into winter, these plants get a lot less sunlight in the winter and some different things can happen. They can stay too wet because they're getting less sunlight and it's colder so they're not using as much water or they can actually dry out quicker because you're running the heater and it's very, very dry and hot in your house. And so it's really depends on your particular situation. Just look at your plant as the seasons change and adjust your care. You may wanna water more or less depending on what's going on with your plant and you may just want to uh, you know check your humidity make sure your fiddle isn't getting too dry or um, you know too low humidity all right so my next tip is to act quickly we don't want to let problems sit with your fiddly fig so root rot can kill your plant within a matter of days or weeks we see plants that drop all of their leaves within you know two weeks or so and so as soon as you notice things like dropping leaves or brown spots you really want to act quickly we have a root supplement treatment that can stop root rot within 24 hours so I really recommend 
recommend if you see brown spots that are spreading or if your plant is dropping a lot of leaves, invest in that product, treat it immediately and correct the problem at the source. So stop watering too much, correct the drainage, make sure it's getting enough light. Letting issues kind of fester always makes your plant go downhill farther and it is harder to recover. And that goes for insects as well. If you see evidence of spider mites or insects, you really wanna act quickly to treat those. And so recovery takes some time. And so if you act quickly, you don't let your plant go downhill, then your recovery will be faster. All right, so my final tip is to have weekly checks for your plant. And so it's really important to keep problems from progressing and to make sure your plant is happy is to check on your plant every week. We recommend Fiddly Fig Friday and you can use that hashtag to share pictures of your plant on Instagram, but look at your plant. Look at, you know, does it seem happy? Is it growing? Is there new growth? Is it dusty? Is it dirty? Is it too wet? Is it too dry? Learn to develop your intuition for your particular plant by taking care of it each and every week and just noticing what's changing about your plant and consider even snapping a picture. And then you have a record and you can go back and realize, oh wow, this plant has grown a lot or oh wow, this plant used to look a lot better than it does now. And so that's my, kind of my final tip is check in with your plant each Fiddle Leaf Fig Friday, share your progress, let us know how you're doing, ask your questions in the comments, join our Facebook group if you have any problems, you can post a picture of your plant. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel. Bye.